Okay, this is the complete system. That's the storage barrel right there. That line is the input from the filter. This line back here is where the pump draws the water out of the storage container. And it goes over there. We're going to take a close look at that in a minute. Okay, this is the filter. This is the bucket, the storage bucket on top. This is the diverter right here. The water still comes down through the downspout into the diverter. But when there's no rain, the pump recirculates water out of the storage container so that it goes through this hose right up here. And we'll look at that in a minute. And it goes into the bucket and then it goes through the filter. Keeps the filter alive. Taking a closer look here. This right here is the pipe that comes from the pump and allows the trickle of water to recirculate from the storage container. Flows into the bucket here and then that in turn flows into the filter. All right, okay, now we'll take a closer look. This is the line coming from the 55 gallon storage barrel. The pump pulls the water out of there. That's the little DC pump right there. Runs on 12 volts DC. It can easily run on a deep cycle, 12 volt deep, deep cycle battery with a 50 watt solar panel to easily power that thing. So that pump pressurizes this tank here. The water comes out here, pressurized. This T allows the water to go in to the bucket up there for recirculation at a very slow rate. And then here you can take the water out at any speed you want, like that. This T right here lets us access water for recirculation and to use without affecting the recirculation. We'll uh, take a look at that. Oh. So this is what we're getting out of the filter now. Not too bad, actually. Water that's come off the roof. Now we're going to take a look at the same bucket with water from the filter. So the same amount of water in the same bucket, only this is water that came out of the filter.